In the second part of this video series, I'm going to show you how you can use Spark 2 as a studio tool. Okay, so now I'm going to quickly demonstrate how you can you know, make a, a, a nice beat from scratch in Spark. Uh, to do so, I'm going to load one of the new kits in Spark, in Spark 2. We have about 55 new kits in Spark 2 now. So I'm going to navigate to Project, select Spark 2 here. And the kit that I'm going to be using is Modunk. It's this fun kind of house kit. I'm going to go ahead now and start programming in some stuff. And we'll just build build on it all the way through. Okay, so we've got our kick here, four to the floor. Nice. Okay, so on track eight here, I've loaded in uh, an instrument from the kit Punkrupt, which is another new kit in Spark 2. It's a bass sound, so it's like an upright bass. Double bass kind of thing. So uh, yeah, let's just write in a bit, of, a bit of stuff on that. So as you can see here, I've got the, the controller. So I'm gonna, it's in tune mode, so now I can play in chromatically, so something like that. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. So let's just turn that up a bit, sorry. On the main page, you can see I'm scrolling through the different parameters. Maybe that's a bit like, yeah, I like that. Okay, let's go to the mixer now. Put in a, a return effect. Let's get a bit of reverb in there. Sounds good. Okay. Nice groove going there. Awesome. So let's add a bit more. From another really good kit in Spark 2. Let me just check which instrument I want.
I like that. I want to pitch that a bit though. There you go, that's how easy it is to create a really cool beat inside of Spark 2.